About four months ago, I bought a bass shaker, the Aura Sound one. What you use these for, in case you're not familiar, is you attach them to the furniture that you're sitting in and they will shake it when you have enough bass in whatever you're listening to or watching to do that. So I took that and I attached it to this chair that I'm sitting in right now uh, on a piece of wood that goes from side to side that kind of links the two sides together. I figured that would be the best place to put it. And yeah, that worked out really well. It, it really transmits that um, vibrational energy, you could say, to the chair quite effectively. But what I was thinking, because I did the floor the way that I did with the floor, like the hardwood, sitting on top of the carpet so that it can move a little bit, I thought that maybe it would be better if I took the base shaker off the chair and put it on a platform that's sitting on the floor and then the chair would sit on that platform. So I got a piece of particle board that was basically garbage or scrap and I drilled counter bores for the feet of this chair to fit into. That was another thing that I wanted to do. I wanted to get at least something there so that I, those hard plastic uh, feet that are on this chair wouldn't be, you know, uh, digging into the floor. Now this is hickory flooring, so it's not soft by any means, but I, I still wanted to get something there to spread out that load. I did have to drill another hole through it because I have a wire that's coming from the front of the room up there underneath the floor that will go to the base shaker after um, I have everything situated here. It's one of the things I did when I was building this floor. I put in the wires that I wanted to get there um, like my mouse right here is not cordless anymore. It's corded because I ran a USB cord over to this location right here and it comes through the floor. So anyway, I took the base shaker off the chair and I attached it to the piece of particle board down on the floor. And then I set the chair on top of it and I tested it out. And my conclusion is that it's much better on the chair. The vibrations were still there, but they weren't as impactful as they were on the chair. Not nearly, not anywhere near, actually. I'd have to crank up the amplifier quite a bit to get the same level of shaking. A couple of videos ago, I talked about rebuilding my music collection, using the money I'm making on this channel to fund that. So I bought four new ones, uh, CDs, not records. I don't buy records. So I'm not going to waste my time with records. Don't even bother going there in the comments. I don't do records. So I got four new CDs. Uh, three of those are from the police. I'll talk about this one first. Zenyatta Mandata. Uh, I'm not sure exactly when this came out. But this stuff came out when I was a, like a teenager. So I was really into it. Listened to it all the time. I had, I know I had this cassette and another one here that I'll talk about next. Um, What's on here? This is uh, Don't Stand So Close to Me, probably the biggest uh, thing from then. I mean, before that was Roxanne. That was really big on the radio. I didn't like, I liked the song, but I got so sick of hearing it, right? But Don't Stand So Close to Me, that wasn't too worn out, I guess. And then Driven to Tears, another good one. Um, when the World is Running Down, also very good. And what else is here? I like everything that's on here because I had the cassette and I was listening to it over and over again. But the things I have uh, rated up here, I'm just going to do, 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 da, da, da. I can also say that the production quality on this is excellent. Everything sounds really good. The next one is Ghost in the Machine. And um, like this one, there are about four, I think five. I've got five highlighted here. The first one is Spirits in the Material World. Every little thing she does is magic. It was a big radio hit. Invisible Sun. Also Demolition Man. And Secret Journey. Those are the five, say, headline singles on here. The production quality on this is good as well. If I have one thing to say, it would be with regards to the vocals. Um, on a couple of tracks, especially here, they're down, um, like they're almost too low in volume. And that's probably intentional. So, but, and the other thing is that there's a lot of double tracking. I think every, 
every song on here is double tracked actually um with reverb on top of that and i guess that was intentional again to fit the feel of the album um, but it's a little bit distracting if you don't know what double tracking is by the way it's, it's the singer sings the song twice and of course they're going to be slightly different and so they'll put those together and it makes the sound more full and then of course reverb adds echo to it and um i have to admit that a lot of you know, the music i listen to i treat the vocals as just another instrument as in i'm not really interested in what they're you know trying to say but you know there are exceptions and the police are one of those i would really like to hear what he's saying and there are a couple of tracks here where it's almost too low to comfortably hear the third one is synchronicity i ordered another one regatta de blanc which i think is earlier than any of these yeah i think it's probably their first or second studio album but anyway this is kind of their last and this is the one that i like the most and um mainly probably because this came out when i was you know you know really into them like i had these two before that and i was really into it and they did a world album premiere and played it on the radio and i actually taped it <laughs> from the radio and that's how i was listening to this before i i got it on cassette like properly yeah i played a lot i played that radio taping quite a lot before i got it on cassette so what do we have on here um I like everything that's on here, right? Without exception. But the big stuff that's on here is say, I didn't rate anything here. Every, every breath you take was big on the radio wrapped around your finger. Synchronicity too. I think they played that on radio. I'm not sure. King of pain is another one that I'm pretty sure they were playing on the radio. But like I said, I like everything that's on here. And I can play this through from beginning to end without skipping anything. The last one I have is from Metric New World Underground. And um, I keep thinking of this as being new, even though this album is 20 years old now. And the, the song that turned me on to the group to begin with is Combat Baby. That's on here, along with um, Dead Disco and Sexy. Uh, those are the ones that we're playing on the radio. Anyway, I do like everything that's on here, though. I, I play this through from, from, from beginning to end. And again, the production quality on this is very good. It sounds great. Now, another idea that I did have for a bass shaker was to mount it on a wall, actually, and use the wall as a big like subwoofer and see what that would do.